I want to demystify the subject of finite and non-finite verbs. I have treated this topic two times before, but I want to here simplify it in such a way that everyone will understand. Now, what are finite verbs and what are non-finite verbs? Take a look at this. We have singular, plural, past tense, and present tense. Now, a finite verb is a verb that can exist in the singular or plural form, past tense, or present tense. So, any verb that you can classify it as either singular or plural, as either past tense or present tense, such a verb is a finite verb. On the other hand, a verb that cannot be classified as singular or plural, as past tense or present tense, is a non-finite verb. So, a non-finite verb is a verb that is neither singular nor plural, neither past tense nor present tense. They are unique and perform their unique roles in sentences. Now, here we have list of verbs and we have classified them into group A and group B. We are going to tell for each one if it is finite or non-finite verb. Let us start with group A. We have here is. Can we classify is? Yes. Is is singular and present tense. For the fact that we are even able to classify is, it means therefore that is is a finite verb. A is plural and present. A is a finite verb. Was is singular and past tense. It's finite. Am is singular and present. It is finite. Where is past and plural. It is finite. Has is singular and a present tense. It is finite. Have is plural and present. Finite. Had is past tense. It's finite. Can is a present tense verb. It is finite. Would is past tense. It is finite. Do is plural and present tense. It is finite. Does is singular, present tense. Finite. Did is past tense. Finite. Speak is present tense, plural. Finite. Sleep is present tense, plural. Finite. Go is present tense, finite. Came is past tense, finite. Sink is present tense, finite. Drive is present tense, finite. Spoke is past tense, finite. So, any verb in English language that can exist as singular or plural, past or present, is a finite verb. Now, let's go to group B. We start with reading. Now, listen. The verb reading is neither singular nor plural. It is neither present nor past. Reading, therefore, is a non-finite verb. And in fact, all verbs that end in ing a non-finite verb and these include all present participle verbs and all gerunds. Do you understand? Let's go to the next one. Broken. Broken is a past participle verb. Broken is neither singular nor plural. It is neither past tense nor present tense. So broken cannot be classified into any of these four. Broken therefore is a non-finite verb and indeed all past participle verbs are non-finite word verbs. Now, let's go to to speak. I want you to understand that any verb that is preceded by the infinitive to, both the verb and the to are considered as one. So, to speak is different from just speak. Speak is a finite verb, whereas to speak is not a finite verb. Now, to speak is neither singular nor plural verb, it is neither past tense nor present tense, it is a non-finite verb. And indeed, all verbs preceded by to are non-finite word verb. So, the categories of finite verbs include verbs preceded by to, all past participle verbs, and all verbs that end in ing. Apart from this category, every other verb in English language is a finite verb. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this lecture. Thank you very much for watching.